The Coalition might not be making a new Gears for some time, but it's actually a good thing. I'm going to tell you why right now. So the big news going around the internet is that the Coalition, the Coalition has announced <laughs> that they are updating their engine from Unreal Engine 4 to Unreal Engine 5. Now, I think the reason that this is so significant with people of the internet is because if you if you think back to when the Unreal Engine 5 was announced, it was announced in partnership with PlayStation 5. The trailer looked absolutely awesome. It did a lot with all the technology that the PlayStation 5 could handle. And it sported some of the following, like nanite geometry is streamed and scaled in real time. So there are no more polygon count budgets, polygon memory budgets, or draw count budgets. There is no need to bake details to normal maps or manually author LODs. And there is no loss in quality. There was another topic about Lumen. Lumen is a fully dynamic global illumination solution that immediately reacts to scene and light changes. The system renders diffuse inter-reflection with infinite bounces and indirect specular reflections in huge detailed environments at scales ranging from kilometers to millimeters. And then finally, Unreal Engine 5 will be available in preview in early 2021, supporting next generation consoles, current gen consoles, PC, Mac, iOS, and Android. And now we've sort of reached that time where I have to imagine developers have to make that consideration. Unreal Engine 4 is still being updated. There's some phenomenal games out there right now that are still utilizing that engine, and I'm sure we'll st still see Unreal Engine games for the years to come. For example, a very popular title a lot of people are excited about, Avowed. We haven't seen very much about it. That is being developed in Unreal Engine 4. Stalker 2 is being developed in Unreal Engine 4. Black Myth Wukong is being developed in Unreal Engine 4. And the benefits to using an older engine is that there's more support for it. Now, Unreal Engine is just one of those things where it's constantly supported, constantly updated. So we're not going to get a new Gears for some time, but that's because the the studio is growing. And I'm just going to read their post for you here really quick after I enter my birth date. What are you doing? The Coalition moving to next gen development on Real Engine 5. At the Coalition, we pride ourselves on delivering the best possible Gears of War games and the best possible game performance using cutting edge tools like Unreal Engine. We wanted to update our fans on both of those things. They go ahead and thank their fans. They talk about things that are in development and they talk about how they're going to continue supporting the games that they've created, like Gears 5, for example. Gears of War has always been at the front of Unreal Engine development as a breakout 720p title for Xbox 360 through last year's 120 FPS multiplayer update for Xbox Series X and S. And we're excited to continue that tradition by developing on Unreal Engine 5 for multiple new projects in the coming years. So that means they're probably not just talking about Gears, they're expanding their team, they are developing more than one thing at once, and <laughs> that's good because the Coalition is one of the best developers. I've, I've talked about it before. Go watch my performance review about what they were able to do with Gears 5 on the Xbox Series X and S and go from there. So what's really interesting is that initial reveal I talked about at the beginning of this video was showcased on PlayStation 5, and it showed what the PlayStation 5 can do. But I was unable to, at the time of this recording, find any games that are in development for the PlayStation 5. So I did find a few on Xbox that are in development. I, I encourage you to let me know if you know of any on PlayStation 5, specifically in on Unreal Engine 5, because there's a lot in Unreal Engine 4 being developed but not in five. So here are two fairly big titles that I was able to find just sort of looking for titles specifically using this new tech. So first up is Hellblade 2. Hellblade 2 is confirmed to be being developed in Unreal Engine 5. That's incredibly exciting. Uh, we've already seen uh, Jurgens and her facial animation and all the behind the scenes stuff that she's been showing. Uh, I was also able to confirm that in Exile, uh, a next gen, their next gen RPG is being developed in Unreal Engine 
five. So all of this is actually a good thing. And, and it's not that strange that a company would just make that decision to jump into the new engine. At some point you realize the limitations of something like Unreal Engine 4 and once Epic and Unreal make that decision to release the new system that a lot of developers will be using, you have to make that jump off point eventually. And the Gears team is one of the most talented developers in the industry right now. I'm incredibly excited to see what they can do. Now, let's not start knocking on Unreal Engine 4. Unreal Engine 4 has a lot of stunning stuff. Black Myth Wukong, the video, I, the game I talked about at the beginning of this, knocked people's socks off and it's running on old tech. Stalker 2 has a ton of people hyped. And, you know, I'm showing B-roll of the trailer where they go over tons of games being developed in the Unreal Engine. And it's just, it's just really, really cool. So for me, my takeaway with this whole thing is that this is exciting. This means the coalition is committed to making some of the best next gen experiences they possibly can. And it's going to take some time though. We're not going to see a new Gears 5. We're probably not going to see their new title because they're just getting in the engine now. And you know, if you've been looking around the internet, we got all the internet detectives trying to figure out when the next, when the next thing is going to come from AAA developers, right? So let's say three to five years from now, we've probably, within three years, we start seeing whatever the coalition's working on, and I'm gonna put on my internet detective hat, and then within five years, we see the fruition of the, that labor, right? Anyway, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. I was pretty excited. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Hey, uh, you know, I'm going to make a separate video about this, but the channel has just exploded in popularity, something I did not expect to happen vlogging ever in my career. But thank you so much for watching. Uh, I appreciate you keeping me honest. I'm going to make a post about just sort of what to expect from these. These are videos. These A lot of people are coming to me like I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, ah. a lot of people are coming to me like I'm like some mega news source. That's cool. Um, but, but you have to realize I'm recording these at like 1 a.m. I'm exhausted after a long day. This is me just sort of having a conversation with you. So if you like these kinds of videos, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for giving me a break. Keep me honest. Keep telling me when I get stuff wrong. Like uh, we had a conversation in the comments yesterday about how you felt my, my DRM story about the Xbox was poorly worded. And I, I actually agree. I think fatal was too strong of a word but I did think it was important. So I actually changed the headline based on your feedback. So keep me honest, keep that feedback coming. I'm, I'm not afraid of it. Like, like uh, I want it to sort of be a two way street. I feel like I'm talking with my friends and I hope you feel the same way. So thank you so much for watching. I, I started the promo thing so many times. If you like this sort of content, please consider subscribing. I try and post a video every day. Uh, if you would like to become a member, memberships are turned on. I've had a few members Popping up. Yeah, I see you. I always add your name to the thing. Thank you so much for the support. It is something YouTube offers and just thank you. Thank you. It has been so great. I'm going to go get some rest. I have a big personal day tomorrow. I took a personal day off because I got some, some positive stuff to plan for in the future. And hopefully I can share what that's all about soon. No, I'm not leaving or anything. <laughs> But anyway, that's it for this video. So thank you for watching. I'll see you for the next one. Bye, everybody. Yeah.